If, if this is pain and this is inflammation, you don't need to make all the inflammation go away to get rid of the pain. You just have to reduce it enough, say, to stop pushing on your sciatic nerve to make the pain go away. At least that's what we told Lenny's mom when she came to us desperate, trying to relieve some of her frequent back pain. So here are three anti-inflammatory drinks to reduce inflammation just enough and get you healthy again. The first one is a variation of the green juice that we make in our house every day. This one is made to fight inflammation and is a little sweeter. The next is a warm one that you can sip on instead of a coffee or tea in the morning. And the last is one that tastes fruity and exciting and a little different and it tastes kind of like something that you would get at a spa. So first up, we're making anti-inflammatory green juice. Why? Because so many people suffer from inflammation. Yeah. And problems associated with inflammation. Mm. And because it's yummy. All right, sorry about how rusty I am talking to the camera there. I haven't been on camera for like a year at this point, so maybe I'll sleep more next time. But we're making an anti-inflammatory green juice here. It is two cups of water, one cup of spinach, one cup of kale, a cup of grapes, these can be fresh or frozen, a tablespoon of chia seeds, one cup of pineapple. We like to use the cores of the pineapple. They have extra nutrients and they're not great fresh. Teaspoon of fresh ginger or powdered ginger, whatever you've got. One slice of lemon peeled and about one and a half cups of ice. Put the top on, ramp it up to 10. You're gonna run this for about a minute or so. And then towards the end, you wanna turn it all the way down to level one for about 15 seconds to get all those bubbles out. Pineapple is notoriously a frothy ingredient. Like I said at the beginning, this is a variation of the green juice that we make every day. This one has both pineapple and grapes, which we don't include in our daily blend. These are both very good for inflammation. They also make your juice very sweet. Mm. Good? Sweet, nice. which yeah, is right. tropical. good for people yeah, that are new green to green juice. It's easy, kids love it, but if you're wanting a different green juice that's less sweet, our everyday green mm. juice is that. This keeps in your fridge for one to two days. Remember, it's not pasteurized, so if you're sensitive, drink it on the first day. And we're not doctors, we're not nutritionists, but if you ask us how much of this you should drink a day, we would say try to go for 12 ounces, and if you love it, the sky's the limit. Hey, if you guys appreciate videos like this, hit that thumbs up. It helps serve it to people that wouldn't normally find us and it really helps. Thanks. Next up. So we're making a morning anti-inflammatory drink that's warm, like instead of having a cup of coffee. So it's a green tea, turmeric, and then the base is gonna be oat milk because oats also are an anti-inflammatory. I know. So we'll take 12 ounces of green tea. You can find a regular or a decaf version. Eight ounces of warm or hot water, a fourth of a cup of oats, we use organic rolled oats, and then a tablespoon of turmeric. If you're new to turmeric, you can always do less. So I was trying to keep this recipe as simple as possible because I know people that are suffering from inflammation are just looking for something easy and a quick fix. But in this case, that did not work. It's disgusting. <laughs> This did not taste good with only these four ingredients. So we're kind of gonna rewind here and you can add any of these extra ingredients and it will taste better. If you add them all, it will taste very, very good. So this is our golden milk latte added ingredients to this basic one that we just made. So you can add a teaspoon of coconut oil, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, one date, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, pepper, and ginger. The pepper seems like a strange ingredient, but it's actually helpful in the absorption of the anti-inflammatory properties of turmeric and ginger. So a crack of pepper really helps. You don't need to use all of those ingredients, but if you have any of those on hand, it will make this taste a lot better. So you're gonna put the top on. If you've got presets, put it on your soup setting or turn it up to variable speed 10 for five minutes. If you don't have a Vitamix, no problem. Just blend this in any blender for a minute and then transfer it either to the stove or the microwave. We're gonna take a quick look at the steam that comes out when you do a hot blend, everyone's favorite part of a hot blend. So the steam comes out of the top, meaning your drink is toasty. And we kind of missed it, Lenny. When you're serving this, sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top. It makes it look pretty, but also tastes a lot better. 
turmeric will stay in your container. The best way we've found to fix that is to just put it outside in the sunshine. Doesn't have to be a warm day, it still works. All right, this is the last anti-inflammatory drink before I have to go and pick up our toddler at daycare, so. This is a anti-inflammatory smoothie. Uh, berries and cherries and beets. Love berries it. are one of the best anti-inflammatories, like the number one thing on anti-inflammatory lists usually, so. Cherry berry beet drink. Clearly we don't have a clever name for this smoothie yet, so if you've got a clever idea, why don't you leave it in the comments for us? So we're gonna start with two cups of water, one gigantic steamed and peeled beet, or two medium ones, a cup of frozen cherries, and a cup of frozen strawberries. Just those four ingredients, super easy. Put the top on, blend it for about 30 seconds. We liked this a lot as is. We tried it later adding both ginger and lemon and liked it best with a little bit of ginger added. So if you've got ginger on hand, throw that in too. All right, guys, these are three simple ideas that we feel like you'll be able to make and that you'll really like the taste of that should really help with your inflammation. Remember that you don't have to completely remove inflammation to make it make a huge difference in your life. We put Lenny's mom on a strict diet of anti-inflammatory foods for the past few weeks and she is doing so much better. She picked up our three-year-old easily this weekend. Mm -hmm. It makes a huge, huge difference. So guys, if you like videos like this, hit the thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.